Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 18th, 2019. So it's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Who doesn't like the word Friday? Um, we're heading into a three-day weekend. Remember, Martin Luther King is on holiday is on Monday. Um, markets will be closed so we all have a three-day weekend coming that's a great thing but it's also a thing that always poses a question of risk on a three-day weekend let's take a look at what we've got going on here in the market first Yesterday, the market did a really good job yesterday, pushing up. As you can see, we came up here, attacked that 50-day moving average here on the Dow, and ended up pulling back just slightly right to the Dow. But because of some news that U.S. government is considering reducing or removing uh, China tariffs, the market really got happy about that. And that has translated into uh, markets around the world showing um, substantial improvements. Asia markets were, uh, were uh, nicely higher um, overnight and European markets are sharply higher this morning. So we're getting a nice push and we're looking right now Dow futures are looking at a 153 point gap up. Um, so we'll blast right through that 50 day moving average. So that challenges um, this price resistance area right in here that we'll want to pay attention to. We're going to pop right up into that area and um, we'll have to consider that resistance or watch that closely. Now, heading into a three day weekend, um, we use a term all the time and hit run candlesticks right way options that gaps are gifts. And when we get a big gap like this, one of the first things I start thinking about is reasons that I should be um, considering taking profits. So as we gap up this morning, right into these resistance zones, after such a strong move in the market, and heading into a long weekend, I'm going to be taking some profits. Now, that doesn't mean I have to sell everything off or any, any of those kind of things, but I want to put some profits in the bank. I want to utilize that gap to um, bag some of those gains so that I don't have to worry about the, the consequences of a you know, whatever actions uh, could possibly happen over the three day weekend. You know, there's always there's always that fear that, oh, that would be a bad decision. The market could continue up on Monday or on Tuesday. And that's true. It, it absolutely could. But the other part of that is um, I can see I can always buy back, but I cannot ask the market back for my money if I if I don't take those profits and the market does happen to reverse. So whatever you choose to do that, uh, I just, I'm telling you what I, my plan is I plan to put some money in the bank. I don't plan to close every trade or every position, but I do plan to put some money in the bank just in case something changes over the weekend. So it's Friday, consider that a profit day and watch that close. Now, if we do begin to um, um, pull back, we'll want to watch this level right here for price support. Of course, this price resistance right in here, we'll want to keep an eye on it. Also, we'll keep an eye on this downtrend line as we approach that level. You can see where we failed before and we have to consider that. So we don't necessarily have to just majorly sell off. Just a little rest, a consolidation in here would be fantastic to give us another launching pad. And by the way, it doesn't have to be that long it could be a very short consolidation and be just as good so kind of keep an eye on that um, just don't allow greed to get in the way of taking profits let's take a look at the SPY SPY looking really really good here breaking through its downtrend line popping up through it's 50 day moving average pulling back toward the end of the day just barely holding above that 50 day and now, once again, we're gapping up into this resistance zone up here. So watch that close. Also watch the fact that, you know, that downtrend line that we've got drawn here could easily be up in here if we adjusted that up. So we're approaching that area where we want to be kind of careful. 
watching for a pullback. You know, one of my rules, if, if, uh, if an index, a stock, or anything is up five to seven days in a row, I want to start watching uh, very closely for the possibility of profit-taking or a pullback. And we definitely have that appearance here. So kind of consider that and, and just be a little bit careful you know you don't you certainly don't have to agree with me on this i i'm not trying to make any kind of a prediction here i'm telling you what i'm going to do and i'm going to sleep comfortably this weekend knowing that my money is in my account and i don't have to worry about it let's take a look at the cues um cues also doing a great job what a beautiful pattern we have here you know this is this is the kind of thing that we all always want to look for that that market that's doing those healthy moves up and back up and back up and back testing support levels on its way so doing a really good job here on the nasdaq pushed above that 50-day moving average and held it held above that 50-day moving average and showing bullishness here and now we're looking at that gap up this morning now uh, nasdaq could have just a little bit um, more of trouble today moving higher than the other indexes because of that Netflix report yesterday. Netflix reported um, they beat on the top line. They missed slightly on revenue. Really good numbers really across the board, but uh, Netflix is pulling back um, as a result of that, and that can affect uh, the, the NASDAQ index probably more than uh, the other indexes, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has been moving up nicely and also closed above its 50-day moving average, looking strong here. Had a nice move off of this consolidation, and now we're looking for a little bit of a pop-up this morning here in IWM. So we'll want to watch that because we're popping right into this resistance. So let's pay attention to that and be careful. We could see some of that profit taking come into play there. So we with that, let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX yesterday pushing back down on that nice news. We'd started up, as you can see, we'd started up a little bit of fear uh, starting to creep into the market. Then that news came out dropping us right back down into this support area. The gap up this morning will hopefully break through this little support area to the downside and maybe we can move down into this next level of support where we'll have to watch for uh, those, uh, well, just the potential of some profit taking. Um, anytime we get that much of a move, uh, possibility is there, so we have to plan for it. Um, but watch that level. This is a good support level in here that travels back a long ways. So we'll want to pay attention to that um, price level if we push down there and watch for that potential bounce off of that. Let's take a look at T2122. And T2122 is, I've been repeating over and over and over, is my biggest concern here. It's showing us um, uh, being over, over, um, extended here in the market and now gapping up this morning even makes that uh, more prevalent we're approaching 100 and um, it, it, go back as far as you want it's a long time since we have seen um, this this indicator this high and so we're really really close to 100 the gap up this morning could uh, certainly um, price us almost to perfection um, on this run right here so a little bit of a concern here for me and doesn't necessarily mean we need to just drop we could just consolidate we could rest and and also please keep in mind uh, you know a market can stay irrational a lot longer than you can stay liquid so keep in mind that it doesn't just because we're clear up here doesn't mean we have to fall but i just think the odds um, are increasing for um, some kind of a profit taking pullback or a rest so um, i'm respecting this and we'll be taking some profit profits today. Let's take a look at um the economic calendar here this morning economic calendar we do have a few things going on here that we have to pay attention to not much it's a kind of a light calendar day but something to pay attention to at 9 15 we have that industrial production number that we'll want to keep an eye on and then consumer sentiment coming out at 10. Um, we do have a fed speaker today they've They've not really caused us any problems with the market at all. 
um, here lately. So you'll um, just kind of keep in mind that they are there today. On the um, earnings calendar today, we have about 15 companies reporting earnings, a lot of financial companies reporting earnings today. So there are, you know, nothing majorly notable, but a few notable um, companies out there uh, to pay attention to, uh, mostly in the banking um, sector. Uh, remember, earnings are going to really start ramping up next week. And as we ramp up next week, there's going to be more and more uh, potential volatility in the market, particularly when we start rolling into some of those tech earnings. So make sure, make sure you're checking um, earnings reports against um, your current holdings. You don't want to be caught or forget something and catch that bad report that really hurts. Um, so you'll want to stay kind of focused on that. Um, so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you uh, just great profits today. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. You guys are awesome. I just truly appreciate all of um, your help and support with the channel. Um, we are reaching out to more people um, almost every day now. So thank you very much. Keep up those efforts. It, it really does make a difference. And thank you so much. Now, let's take a look at some of these stocks that we're talking about. Yesterday, I made a um, suggestion to everyone to pick up SQ. And SQ made a really nice move yesterday, uh, putting us in a nice profit right away. This morning, SQ is looking to gap up a little bit. Um, so that might be one to consider uh, trimming or taking a little bit of profit in. Uh, we traded this with an option, so we have a really nice profit in this move. Watch that closely. But I think this is a really great looking chart, and I will be watching um, this for more re entries and more trades. Um, really nice looking position, breaking downtrend, holding up, nice little tight consolidation along that 50 day moving average, and those moving averages coming together, just pushing higher, looking really, really good in that chart. Really like that position. Also have a really nice uh, profit going in um, win casinos, win really nice uh, bottoming pattern here, moved through resistance, nice buying going on. Uh, this morning it looks like it could have a possibility of just being a little bit higher this morning. You'll want to watch that, but S, I mean, uh, win looking very good and um, continuing to show strength. Um, Facebook, Facebook is also in that same kind of pattern, holding up, looking really well. Uh, Facebook looks like it might be trying to push a little bit higher this morning. Um, so far, everything is looking good here in this chart coming up out of this bottom and looking very good. So lots and lots of really good charts out there. If you're looking for something, you know, you might want to take a look at um, Roku. Roku, really beautiful pattern here, breaking that downtrend, holding support levels. Nice bullish engulfing candle here yesterday, uh, Friday, looking great. If you, um, DWDP, DWDP is another one of those really nice looking charts, breaking downtrend, holding it as support, pushing higher um, as of yesterday, looking really, really good there. Um, you might want to keep an eye on charts like that. There are a lot of charts looking good like this. So uh, plenty of reason to be bullish and hopefully um, we will see uh, that bullishness continue um, over the next uh, weeks and months because we're really starting to look good here. Lots of really good charts. So um, I think there's tons of opportunity um, in the market moving forward. Um, so kind of keep an eye on some of those charts. Really good patterns um, showing up all over the place. So with that, everyone, hey, have a great day and have a great weekend. Nice Nice three-day weekend. Take some time. Enjoy your family. Um, and we'll talk to you bright and early, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one. Take care now.